nine flowers that represent death and sympathy. Flowers play a significant role in funeral rituals of different societies and religions. Most flowers associated with mourning and death derived from their modern symbolism from floriography or the language of flowers, which was formalized in the Victorian era. However, the association of death with flowers has existed even in ancient times. The following list of flowers are connected to death in one way or another, whether portending death, representing diseases that can lead to death, or as tributes for the dead. Number 9. Chrysanthemum Chrysanthemums are a common flower used for funeral bouquets and placed on graves. In the U.S., they symbolize truth and purity and are a way to honor someone who has lived a full life. In Asia, chrysanthemums are associated with long life and rebirth. Buddhists believe in reincarnation, so it's traditional to place flowers and money in coffins for the soul to cross the Sanzu River. Number 8. White Lilies White lilies are associated with innocence, purity, and rebirth. They're one of the most common flowers used in funeral services as they represent the concept that the soul has returned to the peaceful state of innocence. Number 7. Roses Yes, roses are associated with passionate love and romance, but they also represent death, blood, and innocence, making them a fitting flower for funerals. White roses are often used at the funerals of children as they symbolize innocence, purity, and youthfulness. Red roses represent the blood of martyrs, as well as death itself. Black roses, which are not really black but very dark shades of red or purple, are also associated with farewell, mourning, and death. Number 6. Marigold In Mexico and throughout Latin America, marigolds are the flower of death. Used during Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, the flower's bright hues of orange and yellow are meant to keep the celebration cheerful and vibrant, celebrating the life of the dead person rather than lamenting their passing. A similar association can be found in Victorian flower language, where marigolds were a symbol of grief, sorrow, and mourning. Number 5. Orchids Orchids symbolize the love and respect you have for the deceased and carry the concept of everlasting love. These flowers are symbolic of beauty and refinement, but they're also used as an expression of love and sympathy. Number 4. Poppy During World War II, poppies were found growing on battlefields in places like Flanders. Legend has it that the flowers sprang from the blood spilled on the battlefields. This association made the red poppy a symbol of remembrance for those who died at war. Symbolic of eternal sleep and oblivion, today poppies are used for military remembrances, but their association with death goes back to ancient times. The ancient Greeks and Romans placed poppies on graves as they were thought to grant immortality. Evidence of these flowers has also been found in 3,000-year-old Egyptian tombs. Number 3. Daffodil Daffodils, called Narcissus in Latin, are associated with vanity and death because of the myth of Narcissus who died staring at the beauty of his own reflection. During medieval times, the flower was regarded as an omen of death. Nowadays, daffodils are seen as symbols of new beginnings, resurrection, rebirth, and promise of eternal life. So they're also ideal for sending to families grieving the loss of a loved one. Number 2. Anemone Anemones have long been connected to disease, sorrow, and death. In Greek mythology, anemones were said to have originated from the tears of Aphrodite, who wept at the death of her lover Adonis. Ancient Egyptians viewed the anemone as a symbol of disease, while in Eastern cultures, it's viewed as a flower of death. The meanings of the anemone include abandonment, withered hopes, suffering, and death, making it a symbol of bad luck in many Eastern cultures. Number 1. Enchanter's Nightshade And finally, the last flower on our list. Also known as Circea, the Enchanter's Nightshade was named after Circe, the enchantress of Greek mythology. According to the myth, Circe was a powerful sorceress who enticed shipwrecked sailors to her island before turning them into lions, wolves, and swine, which she then killed and ate. 
Therefore, the small flowers of Enchanter's Nightshade have become a symbol of death, doom, and trickery. And that's it for our list of flowers of death and sympathy. While these flowers might be connected to mourning, death, disease, and sorrow, each one of them are beautiful and make for stunning arrangements. You can still enjoy them for their beauty and fragrance regardless of the symbolism associated with them. If you'd like to watch similar videos about other nature symbols, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that we can let you know when new videos and updates become available. Thank you for watching.